Welcome to Eclectic Wonderland. My friend Kelly lives here with her two cats, Rizzi and Patches, in Northern Virginia. She leads a pretty busy life as a corporate recruiter, and she also manages to teach five, yes, five yoga classes every week on top of her crazy schedule. She reached out to Tyranny for an overhaul on her living room and dining room area. Before the revamp, she had been here for about five years and hadn't really changed much since moving in, so I came in to shake her world up, because that's what I do. <laughs> Kelly is a very, very, very well-traveled and has even lived abroad in Africa and Asia. On her travels, she'd collected tons of canvas and sculpture art, some of which hadn't even been framed yet. She has a very eclectic, worldly style and is a really fun-loving person, and I wanted to make sure to convey that in her home. We kept some of Kelly's pieces and we added many more, including a new sleeper sofa, armchairs, rugs, and some beautiful mirrors to bounce some light around. The dining room table was originally a, a light wood and I painted it black to match the chairs. And let's not forget about the paint on the walls. It's one of my favorite parts. One of the main goals after her revamp is to host more get togethers at her home. Keeping that in mind, we put some really cool colors on the dining room wall, added a gorgeous new light fixture, and used one of the newly framed pieces as a centerpiece of the dining room, along with some other framed pieces, including some framed moss art from Tarani Adelier, giving it a really elegant feel. In the living room, we added this amazing grand pink and gray double pinstripe feature wall and covered it with art from Kelly's travels. You can see the huge influence her travel and yoga have on her decor with inspirations from Africa, India, and Asia. New window treatments and some gray tones on the other walls tied the two rooms together. As you can see, Kelly had the existing doll yellow and green paint from when she moved in. I was able to reuse a lot of Kelly's furniture and her art. Now the areas feel totally alive with all of Kelly's art displayed, fresh paint, new mood, very zen yet inspired by her lifestyle. This is Patches. This is Razzie. And this beauty is Kelly. Here's what she had to say. Tell me what was your experience working with Tyranny? Working with Tyranny in a word was just fun. And maybe in another word I would say like a dream because I have never hired an interior decorator before and I was having a lot of anxiety about it. And um, he made the process just so easy and dreamlike that when it was finished, I couldn't even believe that we had gone through start to finish to get to that point because it was just very easy and very fun. conceptualized idea based on really getting to know me um, but then put it all together and it was just something that really if I had could take my imagination and put it in this room um, and if I had the interior decorator sense and the magic wand this is pretty much exactly what it would look like <laughs> so I thought it was just pretty fascinating that he was able to get to know me um, very quickly and um, get to know my personality and who I am and kind of make it come to life in a way that is very uniquely me.
Tell me how Razzie and Pat just feel about their new home. Oh boy. <laughs> <laughs> Um, I would say that Razzie and Patches and I were all going through this at the same time together. So they're used to their Zen home that doesn't have a lot of, um, a lot of very different things coming in and out all the time. So if I have one Amazon package delivered, immediately both cats are fighting over it to see like who gets to stand on it. I get to smell it. They're hissing at each other. So, um, Tyranny was bringing in lots of boxes, flipping the whole place upside down, painting stripes with lasers and multiple things happening at once. And the cats were probably pretty freaked out. I think at times I was freaked out um, because it's just such a big change. You know, it was yellow and green walls in here and brown furniture. So. done things to bring it to life and make it creative but now when I see this space again I just feel like it's so much more me that um, I'm, I'm just super excited to come How has redesigning your the space where you live changed your life? So I think that um, sometimes we don't really know what we need until we start to take some of those little baby steps. Um, so whether it be, you know, uh, traveling to a new place or um, it could be something as simple as going to a brand new restaurant, trying a brand new kind of food. Um, so when we started this process of redoing um, the condo, I, I didn't really think about what an impact it would have on like my my uh, my well-being and my happiness. So I mean, I did feel like things were kind of stagnant, and I did feel like I wanted a change. But I think what I hadn't anticipated was how happy I would feel like in this brand new beautiful space. So sometimes I just come home, or I wake or I wake up and I come out of the room and see the pink wall, and it just really makes me smile, and it makes me so happy that I have something so beautiful and that's so me um, in my home. So, you know, even just coming in the door from a long day, it's some place where, you know, I never really spent much time on the couch. Um, but now I, I come in and I lay on the couch surrounded by all the pillows and I prop them up and, you know, I, I lay there and read. Um, so I, I think that it's really made me want to spend more time at home and um, I feel much more joy kind of being, you know, being here in the space because it's so beautiful. What's your favorite part of the new decor? My favorite part of my lovely space is obviously the accent wall behind me. <laughs> so um, in addition to the chandeliers, because um, I, I never would have even thought of, of these wonders, but um, the pink wall, we originally talked about having it be flipped and having the wall be um, the gray stripe, the whole wall being gray, and then the the stripes being pink, and um, I just I just asked Terry. I said, "Hey, can we just flip it and maybe have the wall be pink and the stripes be gray?" And um, he said, "I love it. I love that idea. Let's do it." And so you know, he very much had um, you know his idea and his vision, but was very open to you know me making little tweaks here and there, and um, you know putting my putting my own little spin on his amazing, again, kind of conceptualized design.